All right, Adam, thank you. Well, the Super El Nino winter has been disappointing for outdoor enthusiasts and folks who make a living plowing snow. But it's been good for honeybees, <laughs> which often have a hard time surviving a normal winter. As Northern News Now's Dave Anderson explains, the bees aren't out of the woods just yet. Winter's chill is a factor in the pollinator crisis. Despite best efforts, a lot of Northland beekeepers lose their queens every January. This Super El Nino winter has saved a lot of hives. But beekeeper Mark Walters of Meal Honey tells us the dangerous season isn't over yet. Now finding bees um, are still alive now, you can pat yourself on the back, oh good, we're having a great year. Um, they still have to make it till May. Next month will be the time of year fresh bees are trucked to northern keepers from down south. One snowstorm or cold snap can put a world of hurt on those honeybees. And once snow chances are put behind, the buzzers will need pollen and nectar to eat. That's where gardeners can help out. They should grow whatever is hardy to zone four. Duluth, the people that live here just truly love their gardens and there are a lot of pollinator friendly gardens just around. So if you want to add to that, whenever you're looking at buying seeds, make sure there's hardy to zone four and the bees will just tear it up. Super El Nino's heat wave and dry spell won't last forever, so pollinator friendly gardens have a chance of thriving this summer. Well, it looks like we will actually be more uh, end zone neutral through the summer and then moving into a La Nina towards the end of summer and into fall. So that could mean basically average conditions are expected here for our region this summer. That will make for a growing season that isn't too hot or cold, dry or wet. Good for bees. Hopefully it's a good season for meal honey. Their headquarters caught fire last summer and repairs are still underway by their insurers. They said six to 12 months and I thought, well, that's a long time. The fire was August 5, so we're now already into like seven months. Even more importantly, meal lost its matriarch Sherilyn Walters to COVID two years ago. Daughter Vanessa Roars has taken over her mother's managerial role. I'm good at planning, but the, the, the executing and the, the, the canning of it all, I'm not there yet, but I will be. She'll be there soon as the weather hopefully cooperates with the honeybees. In Duluth, Dave Anderson, Northern News Now. Well, people interested in learning about beekeeping are encouraged to join the Northeast Minnesota Beekeepers Association. Their next meeting will be held at 7 p.m. on Monday, March 25th at the Fond du Lac Tribal and Community College in Cloquet.